So welcome back again to the distracted mind of a sleepless father in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, this is a, an episode that is, if you want, so split up in, in sub-episodes a lot. But we have a clear plan which helps like we want to expand our mineral capacity that's our main focus once we have expanded our mineral focus on to the maximum with these three planets we'll proceed with another expansion. It is the expansion of our research sector. And I mean, we have the Tisselum Prime sector and maybe... Research complete. Hmm, maybe the Hadnock Prime sector will be the only power sector. It will stay that way. Our research sectors are much more important and I might just destroy the Hadnock Prime power sector Completely. Oh, and we have now completed the research of galactic administration. We have monthly influence plus one. Empire capital complex. Be able to build that and advance government forms. The administrative needs of a star empire as, as numerous as they are complex. We will rise to the occasion. And now we have new research available. We have a gift from Nautilon. The Ministry of Benevolence. Minus 15% ethics divergence. Oh, <laughs> that's an effective thing. Also, the Frontier Hospital is pretty good. But really, yeah, that is really a gift from Nautilon because it's not that costly. So we have to take it. Leonard Herzfeld will be genius enough to research it, I hope, in time. And... Um, yeah, what's next? What's next, really? Yeah, what I was talking about, about was... Construction complete. We're probably... Um, we'll, we'll add more... Like, planets to the research section. Nautilon's breath. Yeah, we're... Just continuing to do what we can here. <coughs> Expanding all these mineral capabilities. As they're rolling in, so to say. But this is just too good, right? We want to upgrade that building as well. It's a Batharian power plant and you just have to, have to upgrade these. You just have to build these. There's no way around it. I mean, there is a way. You cannot do it, but... <laughs> it would really be not good. Opened borders again. Yeah, there's Kavzak Prime. We have upgraded this to Hydrophonics Farm too, but do we really need to do this? I don't think so. Uh, let's cancel that. And let's actually upgrade this mining network again. More open borders again. And this means that the, the empires stop to hate us and recognize our power again. <coughs> so we're back to to hope so to say build more of our destroyers and stuff the Neo League joined the Golden League uh, I don't know if I like this <laughs> probably not Let's have a look at... Yeah, there are less overwhelming empires, which means we are gaining ground a bit. But just a bit. Look at that. Construction complete. Yeah, we're better than the Moth people, but the United Mook are still better than we are. 
space ports. Hmm. The minerals. Let's see which planet. Oh, what's going on here? The Kurgans and the Trini broke their migration treaty. Hmm. Let's have a look at Nihal Prime. It's a really good planet. Just like that. Then Hadnock. Really good as well. But that is just. I won't understand. <laughs> I won't understand this this AI. Look at it. Uh, what's going on in the Hadnock Prime sector? Don't you have? Yeah, you have re redevelopment allowed. Why? Why do you do such things here? Nautilus Dune too. Mm. Let's see. I mean, they're doing good work here, obviously. Still also getting a lot of minerals then. Construction complete. Yeah, we'll see how it works. Neptulus has finished construction again. There's that thing. Now we can... Um, I mean, we... We still need to build ships as much as we can. But we have a little more wiggle room already. Construction. Because we have just given us a direction. Kavzak Prime here. And Suhiri. They're doing relatively well. Construction mm. complete. We can, I think, now go for this upgrade. <coughs> Construction complete. And there's a lot going on. Lucius's wrist needs more expansions. Yeah, why not just two of them already? The Swabies have ended their rivalry against us. Um, yeah, but I mean, the Space Roach Kingdom, well, they have changed to a kingdom. They are now a tr transcendent empire. And we also have to look what our new um, our new government can be. Let's see. Two hundred and fifty would be the thing. At the moment, that we are a divine mandate. <coughs> hmm. The divine mandate giving us edict cost decrease, edict duration plus e ethics divergence go to the Transcendent Empire, which would be the upgrade, or the Transcendent Oligarchy, with higher leader lifespan. Hmm, I'm not sure. We are not leveraging the edicts much for now. Well, let's see. Maybe we have good edicts. Encourage free thought. Nah. <laughs> Never ever. Um, engineering research grants. Not really. I mean, we could encourage free thought. I suppose we won't have a problem with it, but... <coughs> Would that be the nautiloids? Of course not. So we might change to a council in time. But we'll see that when we have the 250 influence. That's a long way to go still. Uh, 
A long way to construct more and more ships. <laughs> that is. <sighs> Construction complete. Kavzak Prime has finished the surface construction queue. Nice. What's next? What would be next? Um, hmm. I mean, we could get a bonus here of two energy credits. <coughs> we're getting a bonus of 20% here. So if we're... I think it doesn't pay to go for minerals here. With one, yes, but with, with two, probably not. Mm, we have the military academy here. It's harsh, but yeah, it's like that. I think we should be, we should be okay with this. I think it's absolutely okay. We can go for maybe an upgrade of this building. Hmm. Yeah, we can also upgrade this building now. But it, it would be a bad choice because we don't need energy credits, right? What we need is um, maybe spaceport upgrades, but really it's research and ships now, so Construction we'd rather complete. go for more ships more quickly first. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a lot of treaties going broken and all of that. It's incredible. Our borders opened again <coughs> to us. Ah, this is a great preparation for the for the complete. final encounter against the wall. If we can beat the wall, we will have power enough. Construction complete. Suhiri. Mm. We're doing what we can there. <laughs> We're not that happy here. Why is that? Why, I wonder. I mean, we would probably need something here, right? I mean, that's that's a waste. That was really a waste. And we want to bring Siohiri to mineral production, so we'll mark that. And we have that free area here. We should replace that here with a monument to purity, increasing our happiness. That will increase our mineral production a lot too. And we're on the lookout for more here. Research Let's see. complete. This can be replaced as well. With another mining network. Ah, we have completed the research of shields finally. Very nice. These new shield generators represent the next generation of energy screens replacing the older deflector technology. They offer significantly better protection. <coughs> yeah, we had a lot of that researched. Oh, look at that. Nautilon, you're giving us everything. Capacitor fields, what does that mean? Monthly shield regeneration on allied ships. Wow. That would be nice. Hyperdrive would also be nice. Subspace sensors, physics lab. That would be what we really need. But we have to go <sighs> for Nautilon's gift of capacitor fields. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Once the quantum missiles are done, complete. we'll be happy to add something in. 
But for now, um, we're expanding on minerals, minerals, minerals. And that's really what we do. Producing more and more minerals. We'll soon be able to finish up our fleet production and we'll maybe even reach 10k. Let's see how the relative power is going. Now the we are close to the space roaches. Construction complete. Seems very, very close. Space roaches are closer to the wall now. And ah, we have eclipsed the T human hierarchy. Nice. Renata Mendes has also leveled up. Now she has three stars. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's uh, make another replacement here. And Kavya Pillai will go to the science ship. Very good. Bokowitz. Construction complete. Yeah, this is what we'll do. <laughs> expand and expand more. We have nine food surplus. We can probably exchange some of this food. Um, hmm. Would be the same, right? Let's see what kind of food. We won't replace that. That would be foolish. That would be okay. Let's replace something here. Put in the mining network. On this field. Construction complete. And Leonard Herzfeld has leveled up. Very nice. Look at that. Research speed 14%. Truly a genius snail. <coughs> Our force is growing. How old is Lucius? Ooh, he's 61. He's getting old a bit. He is getting old. So we need more society research to make him live longer. <laughs> Construction complete. I'm sorry, I will call this the fear chapters because we are so much behind the whole enemies that we are just out of fear trying to save our worlds from the worst. Also speak to them again. Mm, we're still getting the stuff. Nice. And you see our energy credits have been have gone down significantly our income there. Nope, not here. Come on. We want the shell class here and here we want the Duxnet class. Closing in also on the influence. Research complete. Complete the research of quantum missiles. Oh, the latest version of space to space missile, this upgraded variant, has an immensely powerful warhead that draws its energy from a zero point vacuum. Nice. What what would we do next to make the Ah oh, To make the galaxy safe again? Cruisers would be very good. Also Gador wanted a cruiser. <laughs> More shells would also be pretty good, but I'd like cruisers first. We need cruisers. 
I think they're safer than the plasteel armor. Let's go for that. Professor Zark, we need you. Construction complete. Spaceport of Nautilus Breath has finished its construction queue again. Also, <coughs> let's have a look at possible new leaders. Um, no one really good here. Corvettes are coming in. Construction complete. Now we need to change um, something here. We need Siohiri. Come on. Oh, we are on Siohiri. Um, there is Paul Muadi. Wow, he has lived a long time on Lucius's wrist. We need Eric Schaeffer here on Siohiri. Construction complete. Nice. Go for more minerals. Construction more mining complete. networks. Yeah, soon we're at it. Soon we're at it. Look at it. It's incredible. <laughs> we're at maximum naval capacity again. Soon, very soon. Which means apart from minerals, we can now again go for research. Where will we go for research first? On Nautilon's Breath. On Nautilon's Breath we'll do that. Biolab 2. Construction complete. Construction nice. complete. Space poles are coming. What the wraith? A spectral entity has been detected by our sensors. It seems to be roaming from system to system, destroying matter around itself indiscriminately. Early observations suggest its composition and manipulation of light may make it extremely difficult to target. But one thing we have learned exploring the galaxy, galaxy is that even light itself can be bent and broken. We only need to figure out how. Whether by reason or brute force it must be possible. What? What's going on here? <laughs> Hostile fleets present. A spectral wraith it's in the Labo system. Oh no! Oh, <coughs> where's the situation log? Now, um, I think this is a good, good time to end this. We found a spectral wraith. Good luck with killing it. Do we know anything? With this, it's it's warping to unknown. Distance ninety six. Easiest system. I I don't know where this is going. Thank you for watching. The snails may be near extinction. Now that we have gained our fleet again, we may be down by the spectral wraith. Happy gaming to you and see you in the next episode of Snail Wars, where we'll make the galaxy safe again. <laughs>